In this video, we'll be showing you why it's important to choose the right shot type for every situation in Topspin 2K25, and how to perform every single type of shot on Xbox and PlayStation to give you an edge on court. If you're in a long rally and not ready to go for a winner, or you're trying to return a fast shot or serve, simply pressing A on Xbox or X on PlayStation will execute a flat control shot. This is the most basic shot Shot available to you. Doing this shot won't use up that much stamina and it allows you to take shots without too much risk, as it's easier to get a perfect shot on the shot meter by pressing the button at the perfect time. When you're ready to go for a winner or are looking to put your opponent on the back foot, it's time to use the power flat shot which can be performed by holding A on Xbox or X on PlayStation and letting go of the button when the shot meter hits that green perfect window. This shot should be used more sparingly than the control shot as you can use up a lot of stamina spamming this. This is the most powerful and aggressive shot available to you and is the biggest weapon in your racket bag. If you can combine a perfect shot timing with a far left or far right shot direction by aiming with your left stick, the power flat shot is your best chance of winning the point. Next up is the slice. This can be performed by pressing X on Xbox or square on PlayStation. This shot will be your savior in those difficult moments when you're on the back foot and need extra time to reposition your player for the next shot. The control variant, which can be executed by tapping X or square, is great to keep you in the game and help you survive for a little bit longer, allowing you to hopefully wrestle back control and win the point against all odds. The power variant of the slice shot, which can be performed by holding X or square, can also be really helpful too in that when performed with perfect timing, it can be a difficult shot to return as it's so low to the ground and can put your opponent on the back foot, often giving you the element of surprise with its unpredictable trajectory. Then there's the top shot, which you can do by pressing the B button on Xbox or the circle button on PlayStation. This shot is best used when you're looking to destabilize your opponent and open up a gap for you to take advantage of. A perfect topspin shot will bounce high and go deeper and wider than any other shot in your arsenal, allowing you to send your opponent to the other side of the court, which can leave them vulnerable to your next shot. But there's a higher risk of unforced errors with this type of shot if you don't get that perfect shot timing. So only use it when your opponent just isn't giving you an opening and you need to move them around a little bit in order to get them. Moving on to the lob shot. This is a shot you'll probably end up using the least, but is super important in certain situations. By pressing Y on Xbox or triangle on PlayStation, the lob shot is best used to hit a shot high over your opponent's head when they're at the net, as you'll find it difficult to get momentum when you're in that position. Perform perfectly, it will leave your opponent scrambling to the back of the court and in the unlikely event they return it, they'll be very vulnerable. But if you time your shot badly or use it when your opponent isn't at the net, that's a surefire way to lose the point. Last but not least, let's talk about the drop shot, which is a super cheeky shot option to catch your opponent out, particularly if they're playing deep from the baseline. By pressing or holding RT on Xbox or R2 on PlayStation, you can attempt to hit a backspin shot that drops low on your opponent's side of the net, which when performed with perfect shot timing and aiming either back left or back right on your left stick, can leave your opponent embarrassed and chasing the ball. But this is the most difficult shot to get right and requires a lot of precision. So it's probably best to practice this shot over and over in Topspin Academy before attempting it on court. And there you have it. That's how to perform every shot in Topspin 2K25 and which scenario is best to use each one. Let us know in the comments section down below if these tips helped you out in Topspin 2K25 or if there's any other tips we haven't mentioned. And if you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like and get subscribed to the Mirror Gaming YouTube channel. But that's all from me. We'll see you in the next one and I'll see you on court.